Hello, Geometry, and welcome to Lesson 5, where I'm hopefully going to clear up all the confusion from Lesson 4. Probably not going to happen for everybody, but I'm going to try. So, geometric mean, we talked about it in Lesson 4. Recall real quick what it means. Um, it's the average when you multiply, and you can do this by setting up a proportion. So, find the geometric mean of 8 and 32. Remember, the geometric mean goes top left, top right, bottom left. Okay, and then you just multiply, cross multiply, x squared equals 8 times 32 is 256. Square root, you get x equals plus or minus 16. Okay, uh, next one, same thing, 15 over x equals x over 20. x squared equals 300. Square root, I get x equals plus or minus 10 radical 3. Okay, so that's geometric mean. It's going to come into play here now. Um, actually, not quite yet. Yeah, corollary 1. All right, the altitude of a right triangle. Divide the triangle into two similar triangles. Both of which are similar to the original. This was the redrawing section of the notes from yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and redraw these, and I'm going to not turn them. So this is the small. Okay, I've got AD as my short leg, long leg, and hypotenuse. And this is B. Medium triangle. I've got D, C, B. And this is the short leg, this is the long leg, and this is the hypotenuse. And I'll switch colors again and go with the large triangle. We've got A, B, C. Short leg, long leg, and hypotenuse. All right. So all this is saying is, before I actually, before I go any further, this is your altitude. An altitude, you might want to write this down, is a segment that goes from the vertex to the opposite side. And is perpendicular. Okay. So BD is the altitude here. The altitude, what this theorem says, is that the altitude divides the big right triangle, ABC, into two other right triangles that are similar to the original triangle, ABC. So ABC is similar to the other two triangles. Well, let's match up what's matched up. Angle B is the right angle. So in the small triangle, D is going to have to go in the middle. All right, so... A to B, if I'm looking at A to B in the large triangle, that's the short leg. So what's the short leg on the um, red triangle? It's A to D, so it's going to be A, D, B. Okay. The right, tri the right angle on the blue triangle is D also. The short leg is B, D, and then ends at C. Okay, so that's what that's saying. All three of those triangles are similar. Now, this is where I'm going to start finding missing side lengths. Okay, this is where the ge geometric mean comes in. In a right triangle, referring to the large triangle in this problem, always talking about the large triangle, the length of the altitude to the hypotenuse is the geometric mean of the lengths of the segments of the hypotenuse. Now, that's disgusting. I get it. I've always thought that this is the most disgusting and wordy theorem possible. That's why I put the dot, dot, dots in there. It's kind of separating it out. 
We're going to break this down. If you can understand this, I know it's going to take a long time to explain this. So corollary one, corollary two, I'm going to take some time here. But then hopefully you start to gather what I'm saying and you can start applying them and go quicker. So go slow to go fast is what we're doing here. The length of the altitude to the hypotenuse. So the length of the altitude. What's the altitude here? Well, it is labeled X, right? That's this side here. That's the altitude. Is, well, is means equals. X equals the geometric mean. Hmm. So X is the geometric mean. Interesting. There's that word again, or that phrase, which means the geometric mean goes here and here. Of what? Um, the lengths of the segments of the hypotenuse. So lengths, segments, plural. There are two segments. Okay. There are two segments made by the big hypotenuse, and that would be four and nine. So the the altitude, which in this case is x, is the geometric mean of four and nine. See why we did geometric mean? x equals six here. And you could see if you took six back in, four over six is two thirds, six over nine is two thirds. Okay. And if you look at it further, four is the short leg, x is the long leg of the small triangle, x is the short leg, nine is the long leg of the large of the medium triangle. Okay, they match up. That's the first one. That's usually the easier one. The second one is usually a little bit harder. In a right triangle, again referring to the large triangle here, the altitude to the hypotenuse separates the hypotenuse so that the length of each leg of the large triangle is the geometric mean of the length of the adjacent hypotenuse segment and the length of the whole hypotenuse. Okay, again, you thought corollary one was bad, okay, corollary two. So I have two scenarios here, okay? Scenario one, that's X, we'll just do X first, okay? So, basically, I'm going to start right here. The length of each leg of the large triangle. Well, scenario one, X is a leg of the large triangle. The length of a leg of the large triangle. It's the geometric mean. So, X is the geometric mean. Of what? That's the hard part. People get the geometric mean placed okay. It's the, what is it the geometric mean of? The length of the adjacent hypotenuse segment. So adjacent to X. Which segment is adjacent to X? In this case, it's eight. Whole hypotenuse. The whole hypotenuse is eight plus 10 or 18. So it's the geometric mean of 8 and 18. So then you get x squared equals 144. Once you get it set up, it should be pretty straightforward, I'm hoping by now. And square root, you get x equals 12. Again, don't need plus or minus because we're talking about side lengths here. Now, scenario two is the other leg. would be y. So again, y is a leg of the large triangle, so it's the geometric mean of what? Adjacent segment, adjacent hypotenuse segment. Well, what's adjacent to y? In this case, it's 10 and the whole hypotenuse. That doesn't change. It's still 18. 10 and 18. So they get y squared equals 180. Square root, I get y equals 6 radical 5, I believe is what that is. Okay. 
So that's the two shortcuts. Now let's practice using them. I'm going to try to use them. Actually, I'm going to use them for the rest of these notes. If you would rather separate and redraw, my guess is it's going to take you longer, but you can do it. Okay. The first shortcut involves the altitude. It's the only one that involves the altitude. Um, now, a lot of people think it has to be a variable that goes here and here. It doesn't. It can be a number, too. Okay. The altitude is the geometric mean. In the previous example, that altitude was a variable. In this case, it's a number. So I'm going to put the number here and here. So 6 is the geometric mean of 2 and x. Now, this is pretty straightforward. 2x equals 36. And x equals 18. Okay, that's shortcut one. Okay, we'll do shortcut two because y is the leg of the large triangle, which means the leg of the large triangle is the geometric mean of the adjacent segment, which in this case would be x, but we know what x is, it's 18, and the whole hypotenuse. Well, 18 plus 2 gives me 20, right? So I get y squared equals 360 square root. See why we did the square roots yesterday too? Should get 6 radical 10 there. All right. That was using the shortcuts. You can see it goes a lot quicker if you understand them. So you really need to try to understand how to use these shortcuts here. Makes it so much easier. Okay. Find the value of the variables. Um, I always like to start with the altitude if possible. Sometimes it's not possible, but this time it is. There's the variable. Um, that's the geometric mean of the two hypotenuse segments. So this is where you take each piece as a separate. So four and five. So I get y squared equals 20 square root. And I get two radical five for y. Okay, x, I'll go there next. It's a leg of the large triangle, so it is a geometric mean of the adjacent segment, so four, and the whole hypotenuse, which is nine. x squared equals 36, so x equals six. Last one is actually number two again. z is the geometric mean of the adjacent is five, and the whole hypotenuse is nine. So z squared equals 45. So I get three radical five there. Okay. Again, I know I'm going quickly because I'm the teacher and I know how to do this, but you can see I did, I'm doing this a lot faster than what I did yesterday. Okay. Please try to understand that. All right. Golfing, we got Maria and Gabriel. Okay, they, this is the tee, this is where they started at. Maria drove her ball 192 yards straight toward the hole. So this is 192 yards. Gabriel drove his ball 240 yards, but not right at the cup, to the right. So this is 240. Okay, find the remaining distances for each person. So how much is left for Maria? and how much is left for Gabriel. Okay. Um, now, we don't have the altitude here. We could get it, but we don't need it. Okay. What we have is um, the leg of the large triangle, which is 240. That's the geometric mean. Again, that can be a number. So in this case, it is. What is it the geometric mean of? The adjacent hypotenuse segment, so 192. And then the whole hypotenuse, which is from here to here. Which I don't have anything for that, but I can do 192 
plus x. So now we've got a little bit of a weird looking proportion. So I'm doing 192 times 192 plus x equals whatever 240 squared is by 57,600. Distribute, I get 192 times 192 is 36,864. Plus 192x equals that 57,600. Subtract the 36,864. Get 20,736. And divide by 192 to get your answer. I get exactly 108. So Maria has 108 yards left. Now, what about Gabriel? Okay. Um, so this is 108. This one's a little easier because we've got that 108. His Y, his remaining distance is Y, is a leg of the large triangle. So that's the geometric mean of the adjacent piece, which we just found to be 108, and the whole hypotenuse, which I can actually now find. 108 plus 192 is 300. So I get Y squared equals... 108 times 300, 32,400 square root. Go ahead and do the square root in your calculator. A lot of times it ends up being a good number when it's this big. And in this case, it does. It is 180. So Gabriel has 180 yards left to go. Hopefully that cleared things up from lesson four. If not, we will try to go through it in class to make it even clearer. All right, that's it.